Hello and welcome to Mateo's room tour Finally doing this room tour. I know it has been a while. You guys have been waiting for a very long time It's been like four months since I've been living here. That's crazy I didn't even realize that but yeah, it took me like four months to decorate his room It's still not completely finished, but it looks really good and I couldn't wait any longer There's still a couple things that I'm waiting for but they're not very big things those things you will see like in my vlogs Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and I want to make a little disclaimer like this is really weird But if you see that my face is like peeling and it looks kind of crusty especially like around my lips It's because I'm using this new acne stuff that um my dermatologist prescribed to me and uh yeah That's why it looks like that anyway on to the rooms where we go. Why am I so nervous all of a sudden? Oh my god, okay, we're doing this for this room was kind of just Scandinavian slash Montessori type of room. I initially wanted it to be all white and gray, but as you can see, there's like little pops of color here and there just with his toys and books. It didn't really turn out the way that I imagined that it would, but it's a lot better. It's like everything I've ever wanted. I call this the explorer room because he just sits here and like points at colors and learns so many things in here and I'm so happy with the way it came out. So I guess we'll start from this wall over here. The reason that I don't have anything right there is because I have this Cinemood and this is like a projector thing so it shows, it's like a little TV for him. So that's the reason I don't have anything on this wall and I, I'm not gonna put anything on there Plus when you walk in the room you see this part of the room instead of this So it's not really that big of a deal to me this train uh, he got for Christmas It's actually from TJ Maxx and this I actually had over there, but it was throwing me off It just looked like I don't know all messy because of all this stuff up here So I decided to keep this like more neutral without the train and I don't know it looks really good But we'll get to that in a sec his diaper changing table he's had since he was born. It's actually from Ikea. I don't think they have it anymore. And then I don't really know where I got these um, little boxes. By the way, I'm not gonna get into the boxes and the drawers because it's a little messy in there. Plus, it's like not interesting. This, if you watched my last video, you would have seen it. It's from Mulberry Street Design Company. It's owned by a girl named Melissa and um, I'll leave it in the description if you guys want to check it out. It's super cute and she custom made that for Mateo. I actually had no idea that she was gonna send that, but it fits perfectly right there. The curtains I am a little iffy about because I bought this like cheap curtain rod and I think I might change it out for a bigger one because it, these curtains are kind of heavy. These are like blackout curtains and they are from Target. Next is the bed. The bed frame is from Pottery Barn Kids. It was a little bit pricey but I know that it'll last him a while. I've actually shown the bed in my vlogs before and people were asking me why I got him such a big bed if he's so little and it's because I know that he's gonna grow with it so I don't have to buy him a bed in like a couple of years because he is gonna get bigger obviously and also he does sleep with me so I kind of wanted the bed to be like a guest bed and um, it works out because I have a guest coming today and they get to stay here and whenever my family's here and my sister's here they get to sleep on an actual bed so yeah that's why I got him a bigger bed and I am in love with it these sheets are from Target and the pillows I actually got these two from AliExpress they were very affordable they kind of don't even go together but I like it anyway this is a lamb that he got a while ago from cuddle and kind and this pillow is from this store called sugar boo and it's by the brand Bloomingville. and then this blanket I actually got from Amazon it's not the best quality but it works it has little pom-poms at the bottom moving on to this wall I think this map is my favorite part of his room I think it's my favorite part of the entire house I love it so much this is by the brand gather and it is a little expensive but it's very good quality and I don't even think it's supposed to be for like the wall it's supposed to be like a mat for the floor but I actually saw on their Instagram page that somebody hung it up like this and I loved it so I ordered it this little cubby thing is from Target and the boxes themselves I actually got from Walmart then we have an M which is also from Target this little bunny is by the brand jelly cat they sell these in a lot of places I got this for him last Easter this little camera is from Amazon this is from Amazon this is like a wall hook it was supposed to be and I thought it was way bigger but 
but whatever I just put it right there and then just a letter box or whatever this is called I got that from TJ Maxx in those boxes we just have a bunch of toys that's basically all this is right here it's very messy in there and then this cloud and the cloud shelves I love this as well I got this from Hobby Lobby this is also like one of my favorite parts of his room and then this basket that I got from World Market I just thought it would go perfect in this corner and it has like a bunch of toys in there too so I just put a blanket over it to cover it <laughs> then he has these little like toy sacks which honestly I don't find them that convenient because they fall over all the time so I just keep like stuffed animals in there so that they like kind of fill out so I have that one and I have this one over here and you see it looks kind of weird but those two I got from Amazon and then this <laughs> huge dog that looks real and scares everybody this is from Target oh and I forgot to mention that this panda head is also from Target and I got it on sale for like five dollars this little garland over here is also from Hobby Lobby I think it looks kind of weird there but he likes pointing at the stars and like and the circles and he says circle star and he says all the colors and he loves this thing and then this horse which is also pretty amazing I got this from TJ Maxx and the rug is also from oh it's not from TJ Maxx it's from Target and then I have this uh, fluffy rug over there and that's from Hobby Lobby so the majority of things I got from Target Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx and I feel like I'm all over the place now because I keep forgetting things but these hooks are from uh, Hobby Lobby. You can't even tell uh, what they are because they have things hanging from them. But yeah, there's just a little moon, a cloud, and then a star right here. And that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna get into his closet because honestly, it's not that interesting. I'll, I guess I'll show you guys like an overview of his closet. So his closet is pretty big. It has a bunch of shelves and yeah, I just keep his stuff in here. A bunch of laundry and his slide, which he loves so much. And like some of his bigger toys that don't really go well in his room. I just keep them in here. Look at all his shoes. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. This was actually a lot faster than I thought it would be because he obviously doesn't have that many things but everything just goes together so well at least for me like I love it so much I'm actually gonna order something for here so stay tuned in my vlogs for that look at this he colored on the wall and then he colored right here too and that was where I like stri tr tried to scrape it off I'm stuttering but yeah like I have to paint over this wall now so yeah I got a little like frame for this wall and some polka dot stickers which I'll put up after I paint the wall so it'll be a couple weeks till this wall is finished but the room is pretty much all done. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's everything you wanted it to be and if not, then be nice to me, please, because I worked so hard in this room. Thank you guys so much for watching and comment down below what your favorite part about his room is. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram because I'm so close to 100k. Anyway, that's enough talking because I'm running out of breath. I love you guys so much. Bye, jelly beans.